Remove the paper cassette. Remove the toner cartridge. Remember that the light may damage the cartridge, so keep it in a dark place. Remove the duplex unit. On the rear, open the back cover. With a flat screwdriver, release the top of the cover. Slide the cover to our left and remove it. Press on the two leather of the fuser cover and open it. Using a flat screwdriver, release the tabs of the cover and remove it. Here you can see the two tabs of the cover. Remove the four screws of the fuser unit. One, two, three, four. Remove these two screws. Push down this metal part. It's not necessary to remove it. Now you can remove the fuser unit. Open the front cover. With the flat screwdriver, release the tab of the cover. Release the other tab on the left. Remove the front cover. Remove these two screws. Remove these two screws on the back. Detach the two hooks and remove the upper cover. Remove the connector of the control panel. To remove the side panel, you have to release the three hooks on the upper of the cover. Then release the hooks on the front of the panel. Remove the side panel. To remove the other side panel, remove the screw. Release this hook. Release the hooks on the front and remove the panel. This is the laser scanner unit. It has three screws. Remove this flat cable. Remove the other flat cable. The GR supply has six screws. Detach the plastic arm. Remove this connector. Mm -hmm. 
this plastic lever is connected uh, with the front cover. To remove the main board, remove all the cables connected with the board. Remove the four screws. Remove the main board. The egg voltage power supply board has five screws. Detach the connector. To remove the transfer roller, you have to remove this green plastic block. You can now remove the transfer roller. This is the fan of the printer. Be careful not to lose the springs. They are the contacts between the main board and the toner cartridge. This is the power supply electronic board. Slide the cables from the slots. Detach of the cables. The electronic board has four screws. Remove the board. Install the power supply board with uh, screws and cables. Reinstall the high voltage power supply. Install the main board. Insert the first flat cable in the scanner unit. Insert the other flat cable. Replace the scanner unit with three screws. Reinstall the left side panel starting from the tops below. Insert the screw. Reinstall the other side panel. Mm -hmm. 
insert as a connector of the control panel, reinstall the after cover, insert the two screws on the front and the two screws on the back of the cover, reinstall the front cover. Close the cover, insert the fuser unit, reinstall the four screws, reinstall the metal part with the two screws. Install the cover of the fuser unit. Insert the back cover. Reinstall the duplex unit. The toner cartridge. Reinsert the pattern cassette and the work is done.